Hey guys, happy Tuesday, early dismissal day. I need you to get out. If you're in my class or Mrs. Long's class, I print off the sheet for you. My e-learners, this is on Schoology. Uh, under math, we're looking at some story problems. So let's take a look at number one. You do not need your math notebook. We're going to do all of our work on our paper. Number one. An adult male gorilla eats about 40 pounds of food each day. An adult female gorilla eats about half as much. How many pounds of food does an adult male gorilla eat in one week? I want you using the Bucks method. In disregard that this has dividing story problems because not all of these are dividing, okay? But I want us to use the Bucks method. Let's go through it. What does my B stand for in Bucks? Box the question. So what is my question here on number one? Justice? How many, pounds of How many pounds of food does an adult male gorilla eat in one week? Good. My U stands for what? Underline the important information. Underline the important information. Good. So what are some things we should underline here? I want you to go ahead and do it and then we'll discuss it. My C stands for circling what? Keywords, no. math words, yeah, vocab words. My K stands for? Knock out information you don't need. And my S stands for? Solve it. Solve it. You finish going through the Bucks method and then we're going to go over it together. And I want you to solve it too. Use the paper I gave you. Going through the box method, guys, not just sitting waiting for me to give it to you. Go through all the steps of your box. Write down your equation. Give me your solution.
A week is a week. However long a week is, that's what it means. Let's go over this one. So my underlining, what are some important information that we should underline on this problem? Ben? Um, pounds? Well, specifically though, we need to know how many pounds, right? 40 pounds. So 40 pounds of food each day you should underline? What are some things you think you should circle? Some math words here that would help us. Alyssa? Pounds. Pounds, good. So we know what kind of uh, unit that we're working with. What else, Aiden? Each. each day I would circle. Specifically, they're telling us each day there. And also I would circle going along with each day, Mason. About. Huh. I don't see the word about in this one. Oh, about the female gorilla. We're going to get to that female gorilla in just one second. Let's skip over the female gorilla and her information for right now. Uh, there's something else I think you should circle going along with each day, Justice. Uh, we're holding off on that part to the next. What about in one week? One week? Is that going to help us each day and one week are both going to help us to know our time frame that we're working with? What about my K? Things that I can knock out. Charlie? Um, I'm talking about the adult female gorilla. Yeah, does it matter what the adult female gorilla eats? No. Are they asking us in the question anything about the female gorilla? No. So you would cross off that whole sentence, an adult female gorilla eats about half as much. Cross that whole sentence off. It says nothing about us needing to find out any information with a female gorilla. Solving, what is my equation now for this problem? Bradley, what's my equation? Um, Seth, you do 40 times seven. And why is our equation 40 times seven? What does this 40 represent, Bradley? So this is 40 pounds of food each day, and then why are you multiplying it by seven? Because it's seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week. I need to know how many of this does he eat for seven days a week, okay? Some of you ask, well, what about the weekend? A week is a week. There's no exceptions to how many days. A week is always seven days, okay? And that includes the weekend, okay? Some of you are kind of wanting to use five and think school days, okay? They said a week, though, so we have to go by seven days. Uh, I can do this mentally because I can do what's four times seven? Twenty-eight. And then I add my zero. So this two hundred and eighty is what? Two hundred and eighty pounds. pounds of food. Good. And I'm gonna abbreviate L B S for pounds. Very nice. All right, number two. Number two says that Lacey is buying dried fruit to feed her pet bird. I have a pet bird too. Oh, you do? I have a pet bird in my house and then I have chickens outside. Chickens. How much will it cost to feed the bird for one month? No hands right now, no questions. Go through your bucks method and solve this one. No comments, no questions. We'll discuss it in a minute. Comments or questions, give all of my friends an opportunity.
right, raise your hand and tell me. I know some of you have started diving into the Bucks method. Tell me about this story problem, though. Uh, Brooklyn. Oh, so did they give us enough information on number two? No. no. It doesn't tell us. It tells us that she's buying this dried food uh, for her bird, but it doesn't tell us how much should that food costs. I don't know how to add it up for one month if I don't even know an initial cost of that food for the bird. So we cannot solve number two. You can just put not enough information below it. Hold on, we'll come back to that. Number three, Sonia posted 45 band concert flyers in two days. This is number three. Over the next two days, Elsie posted 60 flyers and Frank posted 30 flyers. How many flyers did the three students post all together? Go through your bucks method for number three. Each step. Have your equation, have your solution there. All right, let's go over number three. What should you underline for number three for using our bucks method? Mimi? Sorry, what am I boxing? My B boxing. Good, you should box in. How many flyers did the three students post all together? What am I underlining? My important information, Aiden. Forty-five band con flyers. concert flyers. Good. What else? Elsie posted sixty flyers. Frank posted thirty flyers. Good. What am I circling? Some key math words here. Justice. How many? Good. Uh, one more I would circle. Justice. Um, all together. Yeah, all together. That word all together is going to help kind of trigger my mind to think of what kind of computation 
When we're saying something all together. Adding. Adding, yeah, addition. What can I knock out? What is some information that is just not needed? Hannah? Their names. Their names. Yeah, it doesn't matter what, actually which person. It could be Sonia, Bob, Sue, Tom, Tim. It doesn't matter their names. What else, Bradley? Yeah, does it matter how many days it took them to post these flyers? Oh, no. no, so in two days, it doesn't matter. And then over the next two days, it doesn't matter. They're not asking us about our time frame at all. They're asking us just about the flyers posted. What is my equation now for number three? What is my equation? Malia. Malia, why did you add up these numbers? Because that's how many flyers they all posted. That's how many flyers they all posted? Yeah, one post person posted 60, one person posted 45, and another friend posted 30, and they want to know all together, so I'm adding how many flyers got posted. When you added, Jake, how many did you get? 135 Say it again. 135 flyers. 135 flyers. Show me a thumbs up if you agree. Very nice. All right, number four. Cruising right through here, guys. Good job. Number four, Eli has played five baseball games so far this season. How many runs did he score if he scored two runs each game for the first four games? Go through your bucks method. Give me an equation, give me a solution. If you're finished, be patient while we have some friends work through it still.
Somebody raise your hand and talk me through number four. Mason? So he's underlying yeah, five baseball he games. So he's underlying two runs each game, so first four games. So far. He circled so far. How many? How many? And scored. And scored. Okay. And what's your equation here? Mason? Huh? Two times four. So his equation was two times four here. I'm going to write down some possibilities. So I think I've got some friends with different equations on this one. So one equation uh, I had a friend do was two times four. Who has a different equation for this one? I'm going to use a different color. Uh, Ricky. I have five times two. Who has a different equation for this one? Uh, Malia. Okay, who has a different equation for this one? Bradley. Any other equations I got out there? You have a different equation, Ben? Okay, what's your equation? All right, so we've got five different equations here. Raise your hand if you think it's two times four. Uh, majority of my class says two times four. Raise your hand for five times two. Raise your hand for two plus two plus two plus two. Same, same thing. thing, yeah. What's four plus four? Raise your hand if you think that's our correct equation. Couple friends. Raise your hand if you think it's four times five. Ladies and gentlemen, None of these equations are correct. None of these equations are correct. I want you right now to turn to somebody that is in your area, stay in your seat, and I want you to discuss. If none of these equations are correct, we have five possibilities. I know. What is the correct equation? Turn to somebody right now and discuss. Hold on. One more minute discussing while you're in your seat to somebody in your area. All right, listening in three, two, one. Give me another equation. If these five weren't it, give me another one. Bradley. Eight divided by four equals three. What? What? Give me another equation. Brooklyn. Give me another equation, uh, Justice. Give me another one, Mason. <laughs> we got that one. Um, yep, just flip flop, but we have five times two would be the same as two times five. Ricky. Any other ones out there? All right, so now we are up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equations. Ladies and gentlemen, none of those are correct. Brooklyn, would you like to tell me again about your idea? Brooklyn is our big winner on number four. It says, 
How many runs did he score if he scored two runs each game for the first four games? He played five baseball games. We don't have enough information to solve this one. Discuss with somebody in your area, because I know I have lots of people who are like, oh my gosh, no way. Discuss with somebody in your area now. Number five, guys. Last one. Stone Ridge Training Center boards show horses. 15 of their horses are in the arena. The other 21 horses are in the barn. How many horses board at the farm? And explain. Ladies and gentlemen, this one has that word explain. If it says explain, what kind of things do you have to have there? You need to have math words. What else do you need? Sentences. Complete sentences with periods, with capital letters to start it. What else? PQI. PQI, you put the question and the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, do that for number five. Bradley? You and Brooklyn should be in this. <laughs> yeah, me and Brooklyn. Um, I actually did change on number five. Originally, the name of the farm was like Fox Hollow Farm. Uh, and I did change it to Stone Ridge Training Center because that is my parents' farm. So I did change this one, actually. Wait, so is that a custom one? That number five was a custom-made one, yes. Of course, I know. Normally, I do not change the story poems or make up my own because, well, I'm just not very creative. Um, so, yeah, I steal them from other resources that we have. And number five just happened to be about horses, and so I changed it to um, the training farm that my parents have instead of Fox Hollow all right, using your bucks method, number five. Last one, guys. All right, number five, you should have gone through your Bucks method. Raise your hand, tell me our equation for number five. Turn to somebody right now and tell them the equation for number five. Everybody. Maverick, what's our equation for number five? Can you help him out? Our equation for number five. Uh, 15, 21 plus 15. He says 15 plus 21. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. Yeah. Nice. So how many horses total are there then? 36. 36. 36 horses. That's actually about what we have at the barn, too. All right, for real, yeah, for real, just have to be that way. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, going back to uh, number four, did anybody have any other questions on number four? I know some of you were really stumped on that one. Did we want to discuss that one more, Justice? So I'm kind of confused what you mean about, like, they don't have enough 
There's not enough information? Okay, I saw a couple of you guys kind of had some puzzled looks on your faces. So they're wanting to know how many runs he scored. Like, all together totals, they want to know how many runs, okay? Because he did five games. But it only tells us that he had ran two runs for the first four games. So let's come back over here. And I'm going to erase some stuff up here and make some room. All right. So game one. Game two. I'm just going to put a four. And game five. How many runs did he get for game one? Two. How many for game two? two. How many for game three? Two. How many for game four? Two. Do we know how many runs he had on game five? No. So can I solve how many runs he had all together? No. no. They only told us the first four games he had two for each of those. Okay, we don't know exactly. We can make a guess but, or an estimate, but we don't really know. So that's why there's not enough information. He, they gave us some information within the question on that one. So they want to know how many runs did he score, meaning all together how many runs he scored, if, and they're telling us if then, this is the information. This is, part is actually not your question. This part is giving us more information, that he had two runs for each of the four games. So within your question, they also gave us some facts. So that's kind of the wording on that one is kind of a funny one. Any other questions on number four, Bradley? I didn't get it at first because I thought they were just asking about the four games, but the I know. Six games. Yep. Malia? Game six, I was um, not like solving it because she didn't have the first one, but then we saw and never asked how much in total or um, uh, uh, asked about six games. Yeah, that one was a tricky one for sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your math homework for tonight is a worksheet on Schoology over lessons six through eight, okay? Uh, I believe there are only, I wanna say six or seven problems on there, okay? It's not a long one. Take your time. You need to show your work and have your math notebook out doing work. These are not mental math. You cannot sit there with just your iPad out. Your math notebook needs to be out doing your work.